Okay, well, so here's the no-brainer. Not much rocker. Kelly calls it the uh, one-foot Oceanside model. Um, he said he needed something for his Florida small waves in Florida, gutless. And I was like, okay, well, I know that world. Started out with uh, being quite familiar with the way boards with uh, good single concave running into double barrel concaves with almost no rocker. I know how those work and uh, from the potato world and everything like that. So the fin, the, the way the fins are, the location of the fins with the relationship of the fins and the way the rocker is on, on a board like this with almost, I mean, through the middle, it's really flat. So <laughs> On the tips, it has some flip, and then it's, it's, so it's, you're going to get all the drive mostly out of the, uh, off this, the real flat area in the middle, under your front foot, and then you're going to be able to tip it over. So on this one, what I haven't done on the other boards that I've, I've done a lot of, um, people know me for are the potatoes. What I did di differently on this with the bottom is I ran the double barrel up further. So it's all still settled within a single concave up here in the front. Um, but it has double barrels that go f further up than the other boards. Um, then once you get back into here, it splits into a V. Kelly's always, always uh, had boards in his quiver that have the single with a d double sp splitting into a double spiral barrel, double barrel uh, spiral V out the tail. And so that V starts about the front of the center fin box and goes out the back. So yeah, the, the thinking there is to be able to get the board to fit in the pocket better, even though it has almost no rocker, it still will fit uh, into a pocket better because of that tip, that, that swallowtail engaging, being able to engage with the V, uh, lending all those things, lending themselves to being able to fit uh, a tighter arc into the pocket. And then, so, and in terms of the outline, the, um, it's, it's a much more performance oriented, Tip of the tail, I th think on most of mine and his are, have been in the seven inch range on the tips from here to here. And so that's, that's actually quite pulled in compared to the potato world. And so the rails here are, are boxy and full. The nose is uh, quite pulled in compared to a lot of grovelers. So it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely in the performance side of a groveler, even though the rocker is just freaking really flat. So, but what we have going on, if you sight the board looking down this way here, it's, it's a pretty, it's an old school looking S deck, a little, not old school style, like full blown Jerry Lopez at pipe S deck, but, but it has a, ha, has a drop here, which makes the eye tricks the eye into thinking it even has less rocker than it actually does. So it has more than you think, but more than it looks like it does, but it, uh, it still, still has a plenty of looseness. And uh, you can you can kind of slow it up and, and stay in the pocket on a small little one foot Oceanside wave or Florida or surf ranch. And I'm going to try it. I'm going to go surf it right now. And I think it's going to be really fun. You're just going to drive it, draw a different kind of line. Got Taylor and CJ out riding longboards and it looks good. It looks like they're having fun. And, and I think it would be a similar deviation from the regular performance board that we usually see out here. With this board, it'll be just a new, new kind of line. It'll be really fun, but it'll still fit. I don't know if I'll be able to steal a pad anywhere, but we're going to go for it anyway. Stoked. Found one.